Hello and welcome back to Holly Likes Games for a video I have tried to make as fast as possible in celebration of Pokemon Day. Trying to rank the first 151 Pokemon has proved difficult and moved me to many a little tantrum. Choosing between these pocket monsters is near impossible and not just making a video where I imitate all of the Pokemon noises has proved even harder. In this first part, I reveal which of the 151 Pokemon rank as my least favourites as I reason through my number 151 to 76 Pokemon according to how much I like them today. I've been heavily influenced by Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, surprise surprise, the anime and general adorability of each monster without much consideration for what might actually be the right choices. It's the Holly Likes Games way. Without further ado, here are a bunch of Pokemon that I love and the reasons why I love them the least. Game Freak, I wish you hadn't. A disposition as unsettling as its name is creative. A bat that won't leave you alone. Leave me alone, bat. Leave me alone, rat. Leave me alone, Pete. Leave me alone, jellyfish with a cerebral cortex. Leave me alone, ramifications of human interference on the natural world. Leave me alone, spiky worm. This girl just wants to have fun and make it out of Viridian Forest alive. Boring burb. A uh, seal. Don't try running from climate change. Lord, let me escape the realities of the apocalypse for one day. Eh. Calm down, The Last of Us. Well, there's a little bit more rat now and it's on two legs. Well, there's a little bit more cerebral cortex now and it's swimming next to you. Kakuna used Harden and put on a little tie. What a distinguished gentleman. Oh good, now it's got more heads. Thing of nightmares. Could be improved with Hollandaise. Cool and stuff, but sometimes I just want to make it down Boulder Roll Ravine ungravelled. Three pizza a party. You're gonna grow up to be something great, kid. That gaping moor. Less of a sea king and more of a pets at home prince. It's a pokeball. It's a pokeball upside down. Niddery, yes, but not right now. There's a time and a place for everything. Please, sir, can I have some more? Like an evolution or something. So much mouth. Looks like it wants to talk to me about Bitcoin. Just a girly discovering witchcraft, give her time. I only recently realized that this was snake backwards. Look at those little shoes, like little wellies for splashing in puddles. I know it's called Beedrill, but this is a wasp. It's a goddamn wasp. Not met his Bitcoin boys yet. More bat for your buck. Inherently evil. Like you saw what it did to Pikachu in episode one. Badass though, right? One of my favorite gemstones, not one of my fave pokes. Metapod used Harden and got a great episode in the anime. I, I can't, I, no, no, no thank you. Big May baby energy. Less boring, burb. Give it a horn and suddenly this is the most magical creature ever and I would fight for it. So much mouth, but its desire to consume James whole is big, bad, chaotic energy and we love that. A great Pokemon available early game. So much potential and relatively terrifying in Legends Arceus. Cute and gonna get a glow up. Never going to have one in my party, but got nostalgia for Misty's. The difficulty of getting this from Game Corner made Porygon feel super special. Big snake. Oh, it's Cobra. Cobra. Pretty cool, but there are so many great Pokemon in this gen that are water type. Eh, eh. Baby dragon. I'm sorry I mentioned the Hollandaise, okay? My least favorite member of this chain, but what a chain. Some consistency between evolution in the anime and in the games, please. Just a little bub with its little leak. My choice first time and undoubtedly cute. Big Gonzo energy. Lil Jimbu, Lil Sandy Boo, Lil Purple Karibo Boo. Who taught this one witchcraft? Just a guy who needs Ash's hat. Just a little a guy who also needs Ash's hat. Kitty, Kitty. Medium Jimbu, if only it had more spoons. Medium Sandy Boo. The world's your cloister. Pretty flutter by. I love this one, don't at me. I love this one too, don't at me. Now Nidoking takes spot 76 and becomes the king of part one, a position fitting for a pretty dope poke. But you know how in chess, the kings can only move one space or in a bit of a liability. Well, check back tomorrow to find my true queens of the first 151 Pokemon, where I'll be going through spots 75 to number one. Which Pokemon will take the number one spot? Are there any that you completely disagree with? Let me know in the comments. Want to see more of my stuff? Give me a little like and subscribe, it genuinely really helps. And check back tomorrow for the final part in these rankings. Sending you all lots of love and wishing you a very happy Pokemon Day.
Woo! Okay, I think it's me. I think if I go for six, no one dies. This is amazing. And our final card of 2022 is... Is it, is it spaghetti? 